teach you a game today called Super Grouper. All right? Well, it sounds like there's going to be some groups in that. You're exactly right. We're going to deal with equal number of groups. All right. I have two different numbered um, cubes here, okay, some dice here. This one, as my product designer over here mentioned, is different. It has zero through five, and they're all different colors. This one is one through six, okay? And you're going to say, well, why didn't you just get two that are the same? Well, because I have a plan, and this is going to help us. So, zero through five, one through six. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build some groups. Super grouper, okay? I'm going to roll these dice. The first number I say, we're going to say like two groups of four. So this is going to be our group, and then this one's going to tell us how many are in each group. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need some help. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Ooh. Four groups of three. Okay, everybody, take a moment. Make a math movie. Close your eyes. Picture what is that four groups of three going to look like? Oh, don't, I don't want anybody, you know what? I don't want anybody's hands up because if your hands up, your, your movie making machine has already stopped. So close your eyes, kind of picture what does that look like? Hmm. Four groups of three. What I'd like you to do is I'd like somebody, would there be anybody willing to kind of share their thinking of what four groups of three would look like? Mm. Mm. I've got so many people wanting to help. Would you be willing to share your thinking? Would you? Could you show what it looks like in your brain? Why don't you come right over here? So four groups of three. Okay, so you've got two groups of three. Okay. Oh, so you said, I know two groups of three are six, and then what did you say? I added one more group of six to it. Oh, listen to her. Wow, so two groups of six plus another two groups. Would you build that for me and let's see if it's really true? Oh my gosh, this feels great. My brain didn't get that way. Whew. Look at that. Well, tell me about your thinking. Sounds like you've got a lot to teach us. Tell me what's going on. How is it multiplication? Tell me what you know. Because with multiplication, we have to have equal groups, don't we? Oh, you're exactly right. And so multiplication is, a, is fast addition, but we have to have equal groups. It sounds like you are going to be a really good teacher for this. So thank you for clarifying all those important things. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you agree with her thinking or if you're thinking in a different way. Oh, wow, that's a great combo. I love it. Okay, so are you ready? Mm -hmm. I see. Um, I see all these squares. Is there anybody who could come and explain? So she's put her thinking out. How is your thinking matching with her thinking? Would anybody be willing to see it? Did you put them like this? Did you put them a different way? What are your thoughts? You'd be willing? Okay, come on. Way. Okay, what'd you do? Because um, I went, oh, I know that this is a stack of three. I know that this is a stack of three. Okay. I know that this is a stack of three. Okay. And I know that this is a stack of three. Okay. So I just went three, 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 and then in the all three of these, mm -hmm. it, oh, so this is a three, this is a three, this is a three, and this is a three. Mm -hmm. And this is also one, two, three, four, so it's four groups of three. Mm -hmm. And so then in my brain, I just imagined that some labeling one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm -hmm. So I got twelve in equals. 
Okay, and being a good skip counter is really important. Um, so we could do, have you ever done whisper loud counts? Yeah. Okay, everybody, you're going to watch me. Ready? Here's how it goes. So if we aren't quite sure what to do, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's called stress counting. And the big ones, we're counting by threes, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the one we say a little bit louder. Okay, so she's a stacker. You were a row maker. Did anybody think about it in a different way? No. Or were those the two big ways? No. How did I make it like that? I just did the counts and then added. You I thought some math in your head? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh, so repeated addition, which is what multiplication is. This is so great. Okay, so you know what? See, here's Same what I did. I know that if I make everything all nice and neat, I build this thing. Oh, you're exactly right. That's that's a square with nine, isn't it? What is it if I have the four groups with three in each? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a rectangle if we're talking shapes. What if we're talking multiplication? Have you ever heard of a word that kind of talks about this picture where it's all in a space? What's this thing? What do we call it when we're multiplying stuff? Okay, what did you it, notice? It couldn't, it, it would show it equal the same thing if it was three groups of four. Oh my gosh, do you think it's really true? Well, how in the world? Show me. Because if it was down this way, it would show equal 12. But if we put, but if we do three groups of, if we do three groups of four, it, we still have the same, not, we still have the same number, just different way. Because then Are you under? Is everybody under? There's a couple people that I'm not sure they heard this greatness, and this is big. So this gentleman right here is saying, "Look, we have four groups that had three in each one. One, two, three, four. But he's saying, I want to look at it a different way. And what are you seeing? This way. Three groups of four." Three groups with four in each group. And show me where the three groups with four in each are. This is one group. This is two groups. This is three So groups. instead of going this way, we're going this way. <gasps> oh, rows and columns are big in this, aren't they? Yes. I didn't have enough squares, and I didn't have 30 carpets to bring to your classroom. That would kind of be crazy, wouldn't it? Right? Because everybody would think we would have But look what I've created for you. I've created your own set, and there are 30 counters in here. Remember, groups of, the one that has the different color, groups of, and number of groups. So three groups of five, okay? You have to build it. The counters are here for you to build. Then you and your partner have to talk it through. Okay, can we do one more to make sure we know what we're doing? Because yeah. it's just for me, not for you guys. Okay, here we go. Would you clear those up for me, please? Okay. Oh, this feels good. Well, so the counters, each counter is like a square. Mm -hmm. And then I have the two dice in there for you. So maybe, should we do it with this? Would that be helpful instead of using that stuff? Okay, I like it. Okay, can do, Buckaroo. Here I go. All right, so, oh. The very first thing, and this is going to make teachers love me, so watch this. The very first thing that we do, oh, I'm going to have you come help me. We're going to make a group of five in each square. Okay, so make like the five dice dots, and let's do it as fast as we can. So this is so important because then it makes sure we have the right number of counters that come out of the bag as we'll go into the bag, and that will keep everybody almost as happy as, as can be. Okay, so you've got your five dice dots. Okay, oh, we gotta have some over here, sweetie. That's the magic of it. Okay, so now we're gonna count by fives. Ready, count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep, 30 counters, just like the bag says. Then we take it. Do you wanna roll them? Okay, I feel like you're gonna be pretty lucky. Here we go. Ready? Okay, oh, this is gonna be a good one. Okay, ready? Zero groups of four. No, none. Zero groups of four. Zero. 
How many? How many should we put out, people? Four. Zero. Okay, I hear. I hear a four. I hear a zero. Who's going to prove it to me? Because I, ooh, I don't know the answer to it. What do you think? Probably four. You think probably four? Okay. Tell me. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to listen to her thinking. Let's see. Why did? So tell me about four. So I think like we can make four groups and then we can have zero left. Oh, and you know what? That's another lesson called remainders and what's left over. So I like how you're already thinking about that. I would like you to make me uh, zero groups. Where should we put the zero group? So the leftovers, we could probably like put them into like fours and like. Okay. Put, and then the remainings, we could probably put them okay. back into the four groups. Okay. So here's my thing. If I make this group of four, how many groups of four do I have right there? Just like four. Well, I have four pieces, but how many groups of four do I have right there? How many groups do I have? I made this group of four. How many groups do I have? 26. Okay. So talk to me about, so it seems like you're going to some big numbers, and I love that you're doing that. How many, if this is my group, maybe I'll make it this way. Maybe that'll make it better. I have one, two, three, four. How many groups do I have? Of four. For example, if I put this here, do you see I have one group of four and two groups of four? So I would have two groups of four. Would that Does that feel comfortable to you? Yeah. It doesn't? Okay. Would you like some think time? Would you like someone else to support your thinking? Someone else to support my thinking. Okay. Thank you so much for asking for that. Look at all these people who have their hand raised. Who do you think would be a good teacher to kind of help you think this through? Miles, okay. Miles, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. When we are helping a person think, we say, I can see where you're kind of thinking, but I'm thinking in a different way, and here's how my brain's thinking about it. Okay? I see it in a different way. Like, like, like if, he did, if he had this, if he had four groups, if he had four groups, then that would be one group. So do you see this is one group with four in them? Mm -hmm. But then the dice, this, the dice say zero, mm -hmm. so, we, so, it, so we wouldn't have any groups at all. Because zero means nothing, is that right? Thank you for being such a good teacher. I want to do one more roll and then we're going to do it. Are you guys ready? Okay, come on, come on. Oh, thank you. Okay, ready? Wow! One group of one. Even I can do that one. Ready? Easy. One. one group of one. How much is it, people? One. one. Yay! Okay. <sighs> okay. Now, why do you think I put those things in there? Just to be su silly? No. No. In real life, we have to know about times one or one group of. In real life, we have to know about zero and how it helps us as a multiplier or not help us as a multiplier. So we're going to do all those things. So today your job is to do groups of. I want to hear the language of four groups of three or two groups of five. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. I knew I